it these days? The Bureau of Weapons Technology. I don't know it. It's new. I'm in charge of it. <laughs> Are you kidding? Why? Oh, come on, Roland. You couldn't even run the student chess club. They rioted. I've matured. <laughs> so what do you do? Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. We police all exports of high technology, weapons, stuff that could be used in weapons. We can't just sell anything to anyone anymore. <laughs> Your attention, please. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Marine Command's HQ. We are honoured tonight by the presence of one who knows only too well that the burdens of state are no less heavy when carried in exile. on lethal technology has been openly flouted by certain British companies. I am here tonight to beg you, do not be silent part in the genocide that might lie ahead. You know, if my Irish great-grandfather were here tonight, <laughs> I am sure he'd say, dancing on the table by now, presuming she's an under it. Shh. Irene says this place went bust in a big way last week. That's why they got such heavy security. So what now? We gotta find the video link, fix the cameras this way. All clear on the south side. Where are you going in your holes this year? Depends where the wife wants to go. So listen. How'd your friend Irene get ripped off by these people anyway? Well, she's got a little company that sold this company, uh, Games Concept, the same day they went bust. The check they've given has bounced. Now, unless we can do something about it, then um, her product is going to be seized and listed as their asset. She's going to lose it, or it'd be worthless when she finally gets it back. Three cameras, one picture. One, two, This is the main working area. This is where they get the new product ideas. Work area? This is a place for serious time wasting, my friend. Check this out. 
fly. I think I've just found my vocation. This won't stop anyone. Yeah, but they will. Motion detectors. Anything bigger than a mouse gets in there and we're blown. Maybe. Irene, just tell them it's hers and get the computer game back. Ed, have you ever had anything tied up in a company that went bust? It's a nightmare. Hey. What? She's not my friend, Irene. She's a client. Sure. I never met her before today. It's love at first sight, then. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I can work with that. And what now? We have to remove all Irene's material, so there's no record of it ever having been there. If we delete it, they can still recover it. Not if we overwrite every sector with garbage, they can't. Voice identification. Designer override. Designer's password. City of tiny lights. Did you know that? <laughs> Irene told me this is one of Dave Young's systems. He always uses Frank Zappa song tiles. Access approved. Name of file? Assassins. Where's O'Neill? He's taking the dog for a week. They could listen. How can we be sure this is right? I mean, for all we know, it could be just sabotaging the competition. Watch this. This file is confidential. It is encrypted and protected. Do not proceed without full clearance. Eradicate this file. Gotcha. Hang about. What's going on? They're all the same. Beckett, listen. Don't you wait for me. Get the hell out of here. I'll meet you at the car.
that dog took a piece right out of my bum. Then that's something I don't want to see. And this is where the alarms went off, and we had to get out of there pretty fast. But not before we removed every trace of your assassins, monsieur. Of course, that still leaves any backups. Oh, no, they're stored off-site. They were easy to take care of. I don't know what to say. Well, as soon as you make a million out of this little game of yours, then um, we'll send you a bill. Thanks, Mr. Beckett. And thank you, too. on your face. Yeah? At least I've got an answer in my trousers. Come on. Your country needs you, Beckett. The regent in exile was almost certainly killed by order of the generals who drove him out. Now, there's this company called Cyberscope. They've been supplying weapons to repressive regimes in defiance of all international embargoes. Roland's new bureau had enough confidence in its information to shut down the plant, but now they can't get into the records to establish proof of supply. We're going to show them how it's done. I put our own guards on the place so they wouldn't interfere with evidence. They've been using miniaturization technology on anti-personnel devices. Vicious, really vicious stuff. And they're niche marketing to all the tyrants because they'll pay more. I'm not saying we don't have the skills to get the information, but we are running out of time. You can't just close them down. It's not illegal to make what they make. The crime's in who they sell it to. That's why we need their records. And Bigot. It... This looks kind of familiar. Don't. What's the hardware? It's a connection machine with an RAID array memory. That's... A redundant array of inexpensive devices. It's voice activated and security protected. It'll only respond to the company chief. <laughs> and we're getting no cooperation there. Designer override. Nearly all these systems have back doors. Once we know what we're dealing with, we can usually find a designer's own cheats and passwords within an hour. This looks like one of uh, Dave Young's systems to me. Why not try, um... City of Tiny Lights. Access approved. Name of file for review. Uh, he usually uses Frank Zappa songs. We've been trying to crack this all week. Do you have a file name to look for? The Assassin's Files. I have no such files. Recover deleted files. I have no trace or record of any such files. They existed yesterday, we just couldn't get into them. Well, how's he done that? How tight was your security? We had our own guards on the place. A couple of thieves did get into the offices, but they didn't get in here. Well, someone's been interfering. What about backups? Kept off site in a warehouse by the river, which was destroyed in a very convenient fire two nights ago. I hope that's not an accusation, Mr. Blatty. I'm recording this conversation. Introduce us, Roland. This is Irene Campbell, founder, sole shareholder, and managing director of Cyberscope. What have you done with the evidence, Miss Campbell? You don't have to answer. There is no evidence. Get your people out, Mr. Blatty. I want my company back. And I'm going to sue you for every penny of lost business you've cost me. You've no case. You've never had a case. Miss Campbell. Uh, excuse me, Roland, I'm sorry. Um, we need to talk now in private. I put our reputation on the line for this. I said we could achieve the impossible. I did not expect to turn up and find you'd been here first to wipe the slate clean. I'm not going to make excuses, all right? I'm just going to get her. Oh, yeah? Get her how, Beckett? That was my erasure program. It leaves nothing. I don't know, OK? Somehow. What were you thinking of? She conned me. She conned me, all right? And I fell for it. I'm sorry. Listen, Beckett, don't torture yourself. And anyone. Anyone of your reduced mental capacity would have done the same thing. 
Oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Other people are going to die now, aren't they? Very probably. What do you mean? Cyberscope's been selling devices for assassination programs. They've been wiping out opposition all over the world. And we just gave them the means to carry on doing it. I have to talk to my boss. I bet she doesn't have a stain on her conscience. a state funeral or a dress rehearsal for the Mikado. Ah. Uh, Recognise someone? Yeah. Admiral Lansdale. He's the government's semi-official liaison man. Why semi-official? Ed, we can't openly encourage the downfall of another nation's rulers. Not even if they are a bunch of murdering square bashers. Maybe there's someone coming. Swing over to the right. Is he on Roland's list? Let me have a look. Yeah. He's yeah, security attaché to the new bunch at the embassy. Now, if there is an assassination thing going on, the chances are he's behind it. What the hell's he doing here? He's stirring things up by the looks of it. Under the guise of honouring a former statesman. OK, Ed. You follow him. Find out what he was after. I'm going to see if I can catch up with the Admiral. I got the Admiral's voice on tape at the funeral. Does it matter what he said? No. Do your people still want to go ahead? Your price is very high. But cheaper than a war and cleaner. And no risk to any of your own people. There's one final requirement. What's that? Human testing. There's no need. It works in tissue cultures and computer models. Please. You've built us an invisible killer. All we need is proof that it kills. Is this a problem for you? Not at these prices. Our ambitions go way beyond the controlling of a few dissidents, Miss Campbell. Admiral Lansdale, you're a difficult man to catch up with, sir. Nick Beckett, we met once in Gibraltar. Did we? You were at the Regent's funeral. I need to talk to you about your liaison work with his government in exile. I don't think so. Yes, but, sir... As far as all that's concerned, I'm just a private citizen with private interests. With all due respect, sir, that's baloney. That doesn't sound much like respect to me. The sanctions are being broken. The regent was killed by a British-made device. The whole expatriate community is in danger, and I believe you are too, sir. Beckett. Surveillance, yeah? Yes, sir. Well, stick to skulking in the bushes and stay out of what you don't understand. The real issues are the big ones. Threats of territorial expansion, racial conflicts, not the odd fanatic out to pot himself a prince. The problem with you people is you get carried away with spy toys. Most of them don't work. And when they do, it's pure fluke if they get the right person. Restricted area, sorry. These aren't just spy toys, sir. And these ones work every time. Rubbish! It had to be voice activated. But they didn't find any trace of the bomb. Well, nothing you could identify anyway. From what I hear, they didn't find much of the Admiral either. <laughs> You can't blame yourself for this, Nick. Wasting time. Uh. 
This is what you saw. It matches Cyberscope patent applications made by Irene Campbell last May. We reckon she had them on international sale in December. <laughs> Quite a Christmas present. We're pretty sure this is what killed the Regent. They're very fragile, and it's rare to find any trace of one at all. It's like a mosquito, but it's purely mechanical. The poison acts in less than five seconds. We took a lot of convincing you could actually build something this small. The Japanese have made a working car that's one inch long. They built every component molecule by molecule. Who are they going to get to drive it? I don't know. They'll probably grow a little bonsai person. How does this know who to bite? It's pheromone specific. They feed it any kind of sample and it will sniff you out like a bloodhound. As a weapon of terror, it's close to perfect. Like the bullet with your name on it. Bullets sometimes hit the wrong people. These never miss and there's nowhere to hide. Any other delights, Roland? This is another one of Irene's cyberscope devices. A bomb guaranteed to explode only by its target. They use very sophisticated voice recognition and leave no trace. Where are you getting your information from, ex-employees? With stuff like this around, an ex-employee would have to be mad to talk to us. Fortunately, one of them has gone mad. Your results were outstanding, Ralph. We'd like to offer you a place. Thank you. This train's missing. Right Planning a bug on a naked woman is a challenge. Down, boy. Are we in business? So far, Tell yeah. In Get in. People! Someone put a bug on me. I don't know where or how they did it, but I'm certain it's been done. Check this. You check the car, check everything, and now. Careful of anything you say, everybody. Something's definitely transmitting. Well, at least there's the second tracker in the car. They still haven't found that. Oh, yeah, that would be handy, wouldn't it? What with a red Ferrari being so difficult to miss? And one you must have swallowed. Cavity resonator turns your entire body into a microphone and transmitter. That one's clever. Find the frequency and jam it. Good attempt. But nowhere near good enough. <laughs> This is absolutely the last thing I need right now. There are options. You will do whatever's necessary. I'm not talking about legal options. We have voice prints. Introduce us, Roland. Just get them off my back.
Sorry, I'm in. I can speak, you can't. Not a word. Beckett! There it is. Two down, one to go. So what's your plan? One piece of torn trouser. Harvested on the run. Is there any blood or tissue? The slightest nick. So, do you want to proceed? You'd better separate out the dog's saliva. We don't want to be targeting the wrong organism. She hires you when you're young and bright. We didn't have girlfriends, but we all had Porsches. After two or three years, you're all burned out. But you never have to work again. What's the real price of all that? I looked around one day, and I realized exactly what it was we were doing. We were designing this stuff like it was for Tom and Jerry. Wouldn't this be great? And, you know, wouldn't that be a great way to kill someone? But no one ever gave a thought to the real people who'd be dying. I suddenly did. And she had me out of the door like I was poison. Did lightning strike her dead yet? <sighs> no. Never an act of God when you need one. Did you guys ever talk about some kind of invisible killing machine? How would that work? <laughs> you tell me. I've told the Bureau everything I know. Hey, hey. It's all right, they're on our side.
The gloves are off. Irene's out to get us. I suppose to think this is good news. Well, it means we made her break her cover, yeah. Move! Now! It's one of hers. I designed the eyes. It's got the scent of someone in here. She thinks we're dead already, so it must be after you. Or me. Close that! If it comes in, it'll look to some other way. It's still open! Look out! What can we let them? Confuse the scent for a while. You! Out! Oh, okay. Get out! Go! Get out! It'll smell you for two miles! There definitely is a problem. And it lies in that vapor. I've started the test. You'll be dead before morning. I'll deliver as soon as you're ready. Just a precaution, Ed. There's something you should see. Right. Take a look at this. It functions like a virus in the central nervous system, but they're saying it's faster than any such organism they've ever seen before. That's Ed's blood sample you're looking at. It's attacking his cells. It wouldn't touch yours or mine or anyone else's. Target specific, yeah? Exactly. She has made a programmable virus. It can be tailored to the exact genetic characteristics of an individual. Or any group of individuals with common genetic features. I mean, never mind the royal bloodline. With this thing, you could wipe out the population of the country next door and just stroll across the border, right? An ethnic cleanser. An invisible assassin. Come on, not more needles. You guys are out of control. You, uh, know how a porcupine makes love? <laughs> what are its chances? Now he's been infected, they just don't know. How do you stop something like that? These are target-specific viruses. Either you burn them off the face of the Earth before they're released, or there's just no way. How will you get it out of the country? 
That's not your problem. The virus won't attack you, or anyone other than the ethnic group that it's meant for. The complete eradication of the royal bloodline, at last. How do I release it? Just smash the glass and you can start the chain of infection from anywhere in the world. Of course, the closer you are to your targets, the faster they'll fall. If you change your mind, find a furnace and burn it. Authority. He just marched in here as though he's got new evidence, but we'll soon get rid of him. What do you think you're doing? We'll have your head for this, Blatty. So what do I have to lose? And I'm supposed to be dead already. I want you to tell me how to save Ed. Right, I'm going to break into your files and get the list of clients and weapons that Mr. Blatty needs to put you away. You're wasting your time. Want to bet on it? Voice recognition, Irene Campbell, lock all files. The files are locked. Master key, unlock. Master key, password. Hot rats. The files are unlocked. <laughs> I got this from Beckett's flat. I've reprogrammed it with your voice pattern, Irene. So I suggest you keep quiet and don't interfere. It's a bluff. Test. Good attempt, but nowhere near good enough. Excuse me. Mr. Morasco, they're locked. Here's what I tried first. This is the video record of the break-in. You can see this machine in the background. Enhanced 224 to 176. Now watch this burst of activity here. A routine late-night compression of files, which means that all the information in the memory at that moment is represented in visual form right here. But we're talking about millions of instructions per second. Too fast for the camera to catch, so we need something else. These disk drives fail after about 10,000 hours of use, but you are careful to replace them well before they fail. Now, there's nothing actually wrong with the disks you take out, so you recycle them to less important machines. These came out of that machine within the past month. Where did you get them? The typing pool. Some of the data will have been overwritten, but not all. Most of it will still be readable. Irene thinks I can't do this, Mr. Morasco. What about you? She can't tell you what to do right now. How do you deprogram Ed's virus? One more thing. 
This is one of the fire damaged backups from your warehouse. The one you torched? I managed to lift what I could. So, that gives me a total of three sources, all incomplete, but put them together, and there should be enough to reconstruct the files. Shall we see what happens when we merge them? Merge and run the assassin's files. My God, she's doing it. Wait a minute. If you call up the assassin's file, Irene's voice is right at the head of it. He's right, Roz. It'll trigger the bomb. Exactly. So tell me how to save Ed. Stop! Pause! It's only recognizing me. Stop. Then you tell me. X-rays. Pause! They're programmed in a field of X-rays. One high-intensity dose will convert the virus to a tailored antibody. She's all yours, Mr. Moresco. That was brilliant. Especially the business with the fake bomb. Couldn't you see she was lying? your diplomatic status just came into question probably so it's over if I can release the virus here and now how many people are going to breathe this air how many carriers will there be it will take years instead of weeks but the end result will be the same it will find its way home <laughs> can use the time to build cemeteries! Huh. Allow me. I, uh... I really appreciate this so much. Well, you just buzz me if you need anything. Anything at all. <coughs> so, Ed, you're not feeling any better yet, then? It, uh, <coughs> comes and goes. So you're not feeling well enough to return to work just yet, then? No, no, I, I wouldn't think so. Not, not immediately. <coughs> we thought as much, so, uh... We've hired in a specialist in this field to um, look after you from now on. Keith? See you soon, Ed. Goodbye, Ed. Get better soon. It's a miracle. <laughs> 